When I was a young guy in the, in the 70s, I say young guy, I was probably 10 or 12 years old, my cousin had a BMW 2002, and um, he used to take, take me and my brothers to school in it. It was always a fun ride, you know? It's, it, and it takes me back to more simple times when I was young. And I always thought it was like the coolest car. And a lot of my friends in high school had, you know, muscle cars and Camaros, and, and I always really liked the BMW cars. And uh, back then, a lot of folks, some of the guys were like, ah, oh, you want that old, you know, that little German car, you know, so it looks like a little, like a ladies car. But I always thought they're really cool, they're really sporty. Uh, I always wanted to drive one. And I never drove one until probably five, six years ago. You know, I've, I've had every kind of car from Mercedes AMG to uh, BMW M cars, and these old, old vintage cars just really take you back to a time where things were a lot more simple. Uh, the cars themselves are very easy to work and operate, and they're fun to drive. And it's just, a, and the people in the hobby are great, you know. And it's just a fantastic uh, experience to be involved in all this. And I think part of the reasons that I'm really in it, and I continue to grow within the the hobby, is because not only because of the cars, but the people themselves have kind of, you know, when when we have gatherings and meetings of BMW enthusiasts, just the excitement around it, you know, and you put a new set of wheels in your car, and people are always complimentary, and everybody's so positive about it, and everyone's willing to, to help you out if there's a problem with your car. It's just really amazing. That is, you know, in, in a nutshell, I guess kind of a long explanation of why I'm in the hobby and why I'm so passionate about it as well. So it's not only the cars, but it's the people as well. B10 is uh, number 36 of 44 built. There's not another one in, in North or South America that I know of. And the B7S is number 26 of 33 built, I believe. And it, there's only two in the United States today. I think there's only nine in the world left. The B10, I believe there's 14 left in the world that are registered today. So they're pretty rare. It's a pretty rare car. There's many people who don't even know what an Alpina is. So when they see the car, they think it's a you know E24 with stickers on it. You know, <laughs> they don't really realize what it is. But there's a there's a few people that know what they are. When they see them, they really you know they take a second look, especially with the Euro bumpers and everything. They, they look very different than the U.S. spec cars. Both cars drive very different. The the, the B10. Uh, it's a beautiful car. It's it's more refined than the than the B7S Turbo, but the B7S Turbo is faster, faster on the highway takeoff. The B10 is more of an overall driver's car, as far as you know power and handling. But the B7S Turbo is just like a rocket ship. You know you can imagine a 1982 stepping on the gas in a car like that's got 333 horsepower, and when that turbo boost kicks in, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a pretty neat experience. This is an Alpina built car, you know, and they're very thoughtful in their process. You know, it's not just throw a big engine in, it's, you know, I mean, they touch everything in the car from the interior of the seats. Um, it's got a dog leg transmission. When you drive the car, you know, it's obvious that you feel that you're in a car that can, can go much further than maybe you're willing to go. And that's, that's really in my mind. Obviously, it's, you know, it's a valuable car. I don't want to wreck the car, but in, you know, in the back of my mind when I'm driving it, you get this exhilarating feeling that, hey, look, I mean, I can. I can take anybody on the road, even though the car's, you know, 30 years old. You know, the purpose of doing this for me obviously isn't to show off what I have. It's more to hopefully it would would uh, inspire someone else to get in the hobby. It'd be great to have more people interested in the brand and, and in the vintage cars uh, like I am. And we're we're here for a resource, you know. I mean, any way we can help people in the in the hobby would be great.